Well, Lee County Schools calls its latest offer to teachers impressive, but teachers do not agree. The district started Monday's bargaining session telling the union it's ready to spend $32.8 million on teachers' salaries to get a deal done. Well, since then, teachers have been calling, texting, and Zooming with Wink News reporter Claire Galt to explain why that is not good enough. So, Claire, what are the teachers looking for? Nicole, teachers say they need more money to live on, that the cost of living has made it next to impossible to pay their rent or mortgages and their bills. One high school teacher, a single father who has a second job, showed me his paycheck and his budget. He said without a bigger bump in pay, he's going to have to give up the job he treasures to raise the little girl he loves. Jake Nordby loves what he does, teaching these kids at Bonita Springs High School. He also loves being a dad to Olivia. But Norby told me he fears he's going to have to choose between the two. And really, he says, it's not a choice. I want to stick around. I love doing what I'm doing, and I want to stick around. But we have to make a certain amount of money in order for that to happen. Norby shares custody of Olivia, so he does not pay child support. His monthly net income is $3,246, and he's been with the district for nine years. Nordby went to Monday night's bargaining session with Lee County Schools. Heard the district's negotiator say he's got approval to pay out $32.8 million. To get a new contract done. If spread out evenly, that translates into an 8% increase for all of Lee County Schools, approximately 6,000 teachers. For Nordby, that would be a net pay raise of $400 a month. If it's spread evenly across the board, it's not enough for me to stay. Nordby says he already works a second job to make ends meet, and this is why. He pays $400 a month for his car, another $180 for car insurance. There's 60 bucks for his phone, $500 for gas and groceries, 80 bucks for internet. 30 for streaming services. He sets aside $300 a month for Olivia sports, clothing, and recreation, and 70 bucks for union fees. In rent, Nordby pays $1,600 a month. That leaves just $26 left over for any extras or emergencies. The cost of living has gone up astronomically here. So yes, the $400 extra a month would help, but... Your entire check for two weeks is going to rent. That tells you it's still not enough. Lee County School says Nordby is a highly effective teacher, and those are the kinds of teachers he wants for Olivia. But Nordby thinks those will be harder to find unless Lee County Schools ups its offer. He points to the fact 18 teachers quit in the last week. I want her to have great teachers. I want her to have veteran teachers. We love our young teachers, but you need veteran teachers in the classroom because they are experts in their craft. And I want those kind of teachers in front of my daughter so she can be prepared uh, to go to college and so she can get the highest quality education possible. These, they say they, they want a world-class educational system. It is going to take the money to get the veteran teachers to do that. County School sent a mass email to its teachers saying, quote, we've heeded the call for immediate action from our dedicated staff. This gesture underscores our commitment to enhancing the salaries of our teaching staff, end quote. The teachers union told me today both sides will meet again Tuesday and the teachers will make a counteroffer. Nicole.